closer, your enemies closer. I mean, you know, um, taking a loss like that and being from where I'm from, you know, you got a lot of guys who try to leech off. After I lost, I didn't get as many calls as I used to. It wasn't a lot of people around. Excuse me. You mind if I get this? Thank you. Just think, Adrian Bronner didn't lose that fight. If you think I'm a jackass now, what would I have been then? Well, what you been Who knows? Only the future can tell. But um, I want to thank the Lord, man, for 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 giving me just wake up, giving me that wake up call, and, and letting me know that I gave it to you and I can take it away. You go back to you go back to Colorado. Um, I don't know if he's been listening, but I'm definitely in D.C. and I've been training in D.C. <laughs> but, um, you know, um, I'm in shape. I'm ready. Um, I've been in shape in these last couple of weeks. It's been a last ass, a lot of ass kicking going on in the gym. I, don't, I want to invite everybody to come watch if you want. But um, you're going to see a different Adrian Bronner, May 3rd. You're working out with? Lamont directly, or in his brother. I mean, I don't know if you want to give away any secrets. I mean, it get hectic in it. It get hectic in the gym, man. You know, um, we're brothers on the outside of the ring, but in that ring, I mean, hey, man, if you don't if you don't come ready to strap up and and go to war, man, you can get beat up pretty bad in there. I mean, you know, we spar all the time. Everybody's fine. Adrian, because of the the manner in which you and Madonna approached one another in the build up for the first fight. Do you think that you have to revisit that fight one at one point in your career and give him a rematch or he give you a rematch? Um I mean, they're not lying when they put this stuff out. I exercised my rematch clause, so I wanted that rematch. But you also took step aside money, correct? There was some money given to you not to fight. It's just some things that's not supposed to have been said on air. <laughs> hey, Hey, I mean, I'm just saying, man, read between the lines. Boxing, you, you won't, you'll never know the inside of boxing if you're not inside of boxing. Now, you move down to 140. Do you feel that this is going to be a better division for you? Um, no problem. Um, it don't matter what division I'm in. I'm going to do great. I'm going to do some elite things. I'm going to do great things in any division that Adrian Bronner is in. And, you know, um, I'm going to... 140 is looking real good to me right now, so um, why not take it out? We'll take it over. I mean, you know, some people might not never see this much money in a lifetime, but um, I work hard for it, and all my taxes is paid. Can you give me an estimate? Um, we can't really talk about no numbers. I got that. <laughs> um, I am the CEO of the band camp. You know, um, it's a positive movement, and um, we're doing big things, man. Um, yes. Um, like like I said before, I, I always talk to I always talk to my big brother, my mentor, Floyd Mayweather Jr. And um, you know, he tell me stay off the media, stay out the media's way stay off the internet, focus on boxing, um, leave the studio alone and get back focused to what got you the name, the fame, and the, all of the money. Any more questions? Safe to say we won't see any more shredded up money and <laughs> tapes that shouldn't leak out, that kind of stuff? Um, it's not safe to say none of that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm definitely... I'm definitely only getting older. Um, I see myself as being the penny. I'm gonna stay the same, but every year I'm gonna shine better. <laughs> I got is this move to 140, is this gonna be a definite move or do you feel that 147 was too much and that 140 is the right uh, division for you? I'm doing what's best for my career at this moment. You can't say 147 is too much because I was already a world champion in 147. I'm doing what's best for Adrian Bronner at this 
particular time of his career. You mentioned the taxes are paid. There's a famous Filipino fighter who uh, has had some tax issues. I wonder what you thought of if, if it should ever come down the line, your big brother hasn't been in there. You might get a shot at uh, Mr. Pacquiao? Um, like I said before on my last interview, that's on World Star today. <laughs> Shout out to Q from World Star, and um, you know um, I'll fight him at any weight. If, if we can make, if I can make 115 to fight Pacquiao, I will do it. How about Floyd? You call him your brother? Um, blood is blood, man. Blood is thicker than water, and, and um, he's gonna stay at, uh, at the top of his game, and I'm gonna stay at the top of mine. Is the is the beard a direct indication of how? Uh, you know, that you're basically on beast mode. No time to shave, no time for grooming, just all hard work? Um, all hard work, no play. Um, it's, it's fight time. I'm ready to fight. And um, it's just time to switch some things up, man. I, I was a kid, and I'm growing up now. And um, now the kids look up to me, and um, I'm setting a, I'm not only setting examples for the kids, but I'm, I'm setting a mark for Adrian Bronner. So you feel that with this loss, it's humbled you and made you a better Adrian Broner. Humbled me in ways, but I'm still the same. Um, I'm gonna always look. I'm gonna always look arrogant, boastful, uh, jackass to some people. I rub off on people differently, but um, you know, um, I'm always be me. Carlos Molina, 140. His last time out was with Amir Khan. He gave him a good fight. Is it your intentions to look better than Amir Khan did versus Carlos Molina? It's my intentions to win. All Adrian Bronner got to do is win. <laughs> I don't. I don't ever go in the fight looking for knockouts, man. You know, um, if a knockout presents itself, then um, I will be that thief and take it. <laughs> well, I I'll ask you for something. I want you to be the Adrian Bronner from the Antonio Demarco fight. Can you give us that? If if. If that Mexican fight like his fellow Mexican boxer, then I will. But um, every boxer fight differently. And um, you know, you gotta adjust to certain things when you're in the ring. And uh, we will see what he brings to the table. Now the 140 pound division is, is, is loaded. Garcia, Peterson, Matisse. I mean, you got Derry Jean out there, Hank Lundy out there. I mean, the 140, is deep. Is that a division you feel that you can take over? Um, when, I don't know if you know this, but when Adrian Bronner go to, I have nothing against, now I have to say this before I say my next statement, I have nothing against nobody in boxing. No matter if you're a lightweight, junior, junior, junior welterweight, a welterweight. Um, but when I go to any weight class, it's about Adrian Bronner. Everybody know Adrian Bronner's at that weight class. It don't matter who's at that weight class. Adrian Bronner's at that weight class. Now, because of that, because you have so much fame and, and, and so many fans and, and people just surrounding you, does that become pressure? And I know you're, the, the typical answer is to say no and, and be arrogant and say that you can handle that pressure, but at times, does it get to you that everyone is expecting so much from you and they can't just let you fight? It gets stressful at times, but when it when it comes to boxing, I love this shit. <laughs> I, I love it. When you love something, and my mom always told me, just have fun. If you love something, if you want a job, make sure you're having fun. Love that job, and I love and have fun with boxing. So Paul is fighting tonight. Do you still have beef with him? Is no, that's my homie. That's your homie. That's my homie, and I hope he win. And I hope he win tonight. And and, and Sean Porter, Sean Porter, Sean Porter is from Ohio. But I understand business. Who don't want to see a Polly and Adrian too? And Polly's defending his world title. Then that makes me a five-time world champion. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't, we, we don't even comment on that. Me and Polly laugh about that. Well, Cincinnati and Cleveland and Akron, where. Uh, Porter's from. You guys usually have a rivalry anyway. Wouldn't that be a good storyline? I mean, wouldn't what be a storyline? I mean, you versus Porter. <laughs> you, me versus Polly would be a hell of a storyline. <laughs> All right, y'all ready? I got a question. Thanks for playing with the beard on or what, champ? 
think about it? You thinking about it? I gotta talk to my daughter a little bit more. <laughs> hey, let me, let me I think you should, man. Thanks, man. I think you should. The last time Lamont Peterson had his beard like that, he came out looking great. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely my big brother too, man. And um, he talked to me a lot too. But yeah, you know, um, we gonna see, man. We gonna see. My daughter, she, she can't, she can't stand to look at me. All right, brother. Thank you again.